fellowships after ENT. So if you are a recent post graduate in otorhinolaryngology or ENT surgery, uh, this is this video is for you. Or if you are a practicing doctor in ENT, and if you are if you are planning for any subspeciality practice, uh, we'll discuss today. Uh, welcome you all on Doctor. Uh, I'm Dr. Sandeep Patel, founder and CEO. So if you are new to our initiative of hashtag subspeciality focus you can also uh, watch our previous video of why fellowship in medical practice uh, subspeciality in medical practice dilemma in subspeciality medical practice what all are things you need to evaluate all these three videos you will get a detailed evaluation part generalized way now let us uh, discuss what is the current scenario in ENT practice so the currently the post graduation courses are in MS DNB PG diploma in otor rhino laryngology ENT surgery in tier 2 uh, and 1 cities there are subspeciality practice is already establishing like uh, uh, head and neck surgery pediatric otor rhino laryngology implant otology these are uh, the practicing uh, it is uh, already you will observe in tier 1 and 2 city there are also increasing demand of institutional practice wherein the different subspeciality units or department under one roof they are practicing in different vertical of ENT surgery uh, and also uh, there are subspeciality fraternity has also developed so far now why should i think about ent subspeciality so as we know the practicing trend in tier 1 and 2 city also in developed city uh, or developed country uh, western countries you will observe the similar trend the subspeciality in ent uh, there are uh, industrial uh, industry scenario of in institutional practice there are limitations in general uh, ENT practice as already in a city there are general ENT specialist doctors has already saturated there are the market is saturated so you need to think if you are an upcoming ENT surgeon you need to think beyond the general practice also the focused practice uh, is going on like uh, uh, you will get more work satisfaction or and, and uh, job security also uh, the another part is you can charge more fees as a part of specialist skills uh, you will get an opportunity to become a fellowship teacher and faculty after doing four to five years of uh, subspeciality practice in your field also uh, it gives you an expert status among the fraternity so all these things has uh, created a industry need for upcoming ENT graduates now what all are ENT subspecialities uh, if we talk about first is head and neck surgery pediatric otorhino laryngology implant otology head and neck onco surgery maxillofacial surgery these all are commonly five fields wherein you can develop your subspecialty practice in ENT so there are different types of training options you can choose if you want to go further so first one is definitely the fellowships full-time course in institute <clears throat> which is around one or one to two years of course short-term fellowships you can also opt for there are observerships if you are a practicing doctor and uh, if you do not have a time to spend more than six months or so you can opt for observership there are also hands-on workshops going on by different societies and uh, fraternity there are visiting and traveling fellowships worldwide globally you can uh, choose for that uh, fellowship so you will get a good exposures and you will get an opportunity to interact with the expert uh, in that field there are elective programs for resident doctors in ENT they can opt for they can apply to the elective elective programs uh, uh, mainly you will observe it in a in US uh, uh, there is uh, the term is clinic clinical elective programs wherein existing uh, resident doctor if worldwide anywhere if he is doing MS or DNB uh, ENT residency and he can apply for uh, 
two weeks or three weeks of uh, elective programs to a different institute if the faculty allow you uh, you will get an opportunity to go and uh, work with in their department uh, in their uh, resident doctors and faculties uh, you can interact with and you will observe the practice also and there are certain online academic tutorials also available where it you can uh, improve your uh, knowledge in that particular subject so uh, if we talk about fellowships there are three different types of fellowships you will get uh, the option first one is uh, university recognized fellowships which is one to two years of uh, duration second is the fellowships recognized by national or international uh, society or a professional body uh, which is again uh, six, vary from uh, one to two years of duration and third one is uh, the offered by fellowships recognized locally by uh, hospital or institutes so this is around six months to one year of course now who can do what so if you are a, a practicing doctor so you can if you are a recent practitioner and you uh, like you have started your ENT practice in uh, recent uh, one or two years of within a three years if you can be able to spend one hour in your training that is well and good you can opt for fellowship or you else you can opt for short term fellowship like up to six months or so or else the senior practicing doctors can opt for observership hands on workshop and visiting or traveling fellowships and for the recent graduates who have just passed out ms or dnb or a diploma in ent they must go for the full time fellowship program if not get enough work exposure join the institute where such kind of subspecialty different departments and units and uh, practice scenario is there you can work there for one to two years then you can plan for fellowship further fellowship also so first identify your area of interest now how to find that fellowships so uh, here i would like to say that doctor courses has a uh, listed of all the subspecialty medical uh, fellowships around 2500 plus fellowships in different uh, specialty uh, not only ENT but all the subspecialty and specialty you can search for it so you can uh, uh, you will get the uh, so many options of hospitals institutes who are offering such kind of uh, subspecialty fellowships you just need to search filter and apply to multiple institute now let's discuss the ENT fraternity recognition uh, worldwide globally what are uh, such professional societies are there American Academy of Auto Rhino Laryngology wherein there's a special section of head and neck surgery British Association of Auto Rhino Laryngology head and neck surgery Indian Academy of Auto Rhino Laryngology head and neck uh, surgery British Association of Pediatric Auto Rhino Laryngology International Federation of Auto Laryngological Societies IFOS European Academy of Otology and Neurotology International Society for Maxillofacial Rehabilitation International Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons of India these all are few example of fraternity recognition these fraternity also uh, organize such uh, workshops uh, conferences also they recognized uh, fellowships in different uh, hospitals and institutes so you can search for it and more on this if you have any uh, any uh, queries you can comment below uh, we will try to address in our next up upcoming videos also we will try to cover that subject and uh, if you have not yet subscribed doctor channel please subscribe and like us if you are enjoying our content and thank you very much uh, stay tuned with doctor for such healthcare career and professional upgrade contents thank you thank you very much